This is Jason Vonclair, and you're watching Submissions 101. Where, where would you uh, like to be in five years, and like, what kind of goals have you set for yourself to enter the next stage of your MMA career? Um, the next five years, um, <laughs> right now, after separating from the pit, you know, per se, from training with a massage, and you know, I just want to get out here, get back to my basics, which is a, a submission game. Yeah. Um, find myself in the sense, get back on track. You know. Hopefully get back into the UFC, which would be just a dream. Yeah. And go as far as I can. Take my shot. You know, a legitimate shot that's getting as far as I can. Right. And it's pretty cool. I mean, I, um, in the history books, I got a submission hold named after me. That's true. Just kind of tight. Yep. And I've been on a reality show. I fought in the UFC. I fought, you know, I've main evented in some top organizations. You know, I feel like I've accomplished a lot from where I came from. You know, I just like to see how much further I could go. Right. Do Take you, some heads off while I'm doing it. Do you have uh, any fights uh, lined up at this point? Um, August 15th, I'm going to be fighting at um, Pure Combat in Visalia, California. Okay. That's my next fight. Um, if things work out right, if I don't get hurt, if I'm feeling really healthy and the athletic commission will let me, a week later there's a fight, um, Rumble in the Park here in Fresno. Uh-huh. And they'd like to get me on the card, but California won't let you fight within seven days of a fight. You know, there's a seven-day window. Right. So I'm going to have to beg the commission if I'm healthy. Like, please, <laughs> you know, <laughs> let me do this. <laughs> you know, because I want to fight in my backyard. Right. Um, I'm back in negotiations with the Palace in Lemoore, so I might be out there fighting in November. Um, you know, just whoever's going to pay me the best thing for the buck, you know. Yeah. Opponent versus the money is what it comes down to. You've got to be smart about that. Right. I'm not afraid to fight anybody, but it just has to be worth my while. Yeah. You know, and right now it's just try to get back into a nice winning streak, <clears throat> show some confidence in what I'm doing as well. Hopefully you'll see it take notice or one of the other top shows that they'll get me back in there. Cool. We have a love for dark movies, and I've heard that uh, The Crow is one of your favorites. What other movies out there should we watch for or that would be on your like top two next to The Crow? Okay, yeah, The Crow's my all-time favorite dark movie. Yes. Yeah. Um, dude, the new Batman movie is freaking hostile. Oh, my God. Why so serious? Joker. <laughs> my gosh, what an awesome role. Um, I'm going to go see it like the fifth time. <laughs> go see it. Oh, my God. It's just so dark. I mean, the criminally insane, the Joker is just a perfect role. Um, other movies, um, I like um, uh, anime. You know, um, Helsing, the, the cartoon series, there's a 13-episode um, anime called Helsing. Uh-huh. And um, main character, Vampire Alucard. Sick. I mean, he says the twisted, jacked-up things. Nice. Um, those are, like, two of my favorite things right now. Uh, anything that's just dark. I like when the bad guys win. <laughs> you know, screwed up movies where you're just rooting for him to get snuffed, and then at the end he pulls it out and doesn't get beat. <laughs> I think those are great. Yes. Do you think there's merit in DVDs and video training uh, to supplement normal training? Yeah, absolutely. Um a series of leg locks that I learned, um, basically knee cranks and calf crushers, um, actually came, a system that I used, I saw the basis of it was from a, um, a magazine, actually, you know, where they're showing step-by-step -step of um, a, a move, and I took that and I snuffed people, I beat people in turn this with this. Um, when I first started training, I was watching a, was it? Pedro Hizo, or I forget who it was. Oh, no, Marco Rujas. I am yeah, training video by him. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember watching that 11 years ago and taking notes and such. So, I mean, the best is hands-on, but to find new techniques and stuff, especially if you don't have fresh people coming into the school yeah. or you're not able to go out and do take seminars and such, uh, video is awesome. I mean, you get to see stuff that you might not be able to perform it, and again, you might be able to, but regardless, it puts this in your head, 
and gives you the ability to develop it or develop something from it. Right. So it could be a very awesome um, tool. Okay. And uh, have you, I'm a, uh, I'm a jiu-jitsu instructor up here in Canada, um, and I, my, my instructor is Eddie Bravo. So I'm just curious, oh, cool. I'm just curious uh, do you play around with the rubber guard at all and uh, the 10th planet system? <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. I actually um, used the rubber guard tonight to lock up a reverse triangle, leg triangle. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't really play around it too much. You said the rubber guard is the umplatas, right? Well, um, umplatas I'm just now starting to get used to because I've never really been at school that works them too much. Yeah. Um, but um, Posh and Hoist Gracie Jiu-Jitsu here, they like to use um, the, the umplatas. And I've been playing around with the rubber guard more and more over the past few months just to get a feel for it. So cool. it's an interesting system, you know? Yes, it is. Uh, is there anything yeah. you'd like to add? Well, um, I just, like no, like every fighter out there, we got to thank the people that um, feed us. And, you know, that's um, tap out for one. Um, two, I'm just picking up a great sponsorship and working relationship for a local company called um, Club Club One here in Fresno, California. You know, it's a poker room and they got some really great smart people running the place and I guess not that smart, they're starting to endorse me, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, um, and they're really great guys. Um, MG Sports out there in San Luis Obispo. That's where I get my supplements and such from. Uh, Matt Gaines is just phenomenal. And um, any and everybody else in between this, um, over the years, Doug Fightwear and um, Enrage um, supplements. You know, they deal with energy strips and such. So those are the primary, primary ones that are on top of my head. Okay, cool. Um, uh, just to the fans, is, hey, guys, thanks so much for you know, giving me a time of day and... Um, Letting me um, get out there and do what I love to do without fans, without people buying the pay-per-views and going to the events and stuff. The few of us that are out there and are <laughs> busting our butts, um, we wouldn't have this job, you know. I'd have to have my name on my shirt somewhere, loading bread or something. <laughs> That's the truth, you know. So without the people that love him and May that are listening that follow us, you know, we wouldn't be nothing, so thanks. Great. Thanks, bro. And uh, so we'll be putting this on the website, and uh, I will be watching uh, your fighting career, as I, I have in the past, and uh, I wish you all the luck in the world, buddy. Too cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.